Hi guys, Gerald O'Neill here, uh, Old Castle Decorating. Um, so I've done a short video uh, the other day on hand painting some pine furniture. And uh, we're at the point with this furniture here. Um, basically it's all finished except uh, the, the drawers. There's six drawers in each. There's two cabinets here, this one and the one over here, which I'll show you in a minute. And uh, so it's all for the sides and top and bottom is all finished. Uh, I've done uh, the sides uh, and inside of these drawers while they were all out. So what I've done yesterday was I put them back in again. So the whole idea, it's like a hand painted kitchen, you know, I like to take all the doors off so you can get out these wee edges in here, you know. Uh, you know, it's, it's neater, it's tidier and it's easier to get out. So if you're doing any you know, like these, take all the drawers out first, you know, obviously. And, uh, you know, just run over quickly. You take those out, clean it all down with a deep greaser or, or sheet or soap or whatever you have there. Um, give it all a good clean down and obviously take all the handles off. And uh, this we these two cabins I painted previously, they were done in a warm cream colour. So I had a lot of pre the previous stuff has been done on them, they've all been praying previously. So all I had to do is clean them down and uh, give them a light sand and give them two coats of white. I'm using an oil-based satin uh, with, of course, the paint conditioner, Oatrel oil, which I use. And it does, um, it does a few things. It uh, eliminates the brush marks. It does give a smooth finish. It, it also stops the paint from cracking, you know, and uh, you know, really good stuff, you know. And there is one for water-based as well. It's called Floatrol which I would use, you know, if I'm using a water, waterborne paint for, for furniture. But this one's an oil based, and as you can see here, one, two, three, these three are finished here. I have three more to do here. One, two, three, they get a finished coat. So I put the, uh, the first coat on yesterday. Uh, I give it all the light sand. Um, again, I use very, very, these wee pads here, and this is a real old worn one. So. It won't scratch anything, but it does give it a smooth finish. Uh, then, like I showed in the fitting the other day, get a wee tack cloth, wipe it all down, make sure the surface is very clean uh, before painting it. So, as I say, this is all the top, the sides are finished, these three drawers here are finished. So, three more to do here. I'll just pop this down a wee bit here and let you see what I have to do. So, uh, again, uh, what I'm using today is I'm using this wee party angle brush. Just for the edges. So basically what you do is, what you need for doing this, obviously a good quality brush, a wee roller tray. And uh, so, as I said, I've got the edges all done inside here. These are all done. Uh, so just a, the face of these here to do. So, get your wee brush and give these wee edges a, a wee finished coat, as I say. I'm trying to avoid the paint going down under the back or so just be careful with that, you know. So you do your top edge first, then you have two sides there. That one. You do the one at the far side here. And of course the underneath one. Now what to do is, you know, because uh, you have to pull these ones out, just push that in a wee bit like so. Do your underneath one, then you'd be looking at the, the front of it then. Even when you're doing those wee edges there, you know, it's very important, you know, after you, after you brush them out, just lay them off nice and light so that you, again, you eliminate the brush marks.
So. Just get your video there like so. Hello, Mary. There's wee Mary, my customer coming in again. No doubt she'll be up in two minutes to check my work. She always keeps on top of me, I can tell you. And there you go. And just hit the wee roller like that. Give it a nice even finish. And just get the wee brush here. And after your roller, just say, just very, very light. Just like those, like the light like that. Just as you can see. Don't put any pressure on it, just fairly very light. And there you have it. You know, so you can see the difference, you know. And again, pop this wee one out here. Like so. And same thing. Again, just bring that down a wee bit for you. Right for yeah, just take your time doing on those edges there. And again, always, I just want to make sure, make sure there's no pinkles on the back edge, runs down there, you know. Top edge, then your two sides. Okay, and just push that a wee bit now. Just for your bottom edge. You should get right in underneath that there. There we go. So your four edges. Get your wee ruler. Okay. Don't put, you know, just a nice even coat. Nice even finish with a roller. And after your roller, just again, slay it off lightly like that with your roller. Have a nice even finish. And again, just lay it off again with your brush. Make sure all those, see these wee edges, there's no roller marks in those either. And just bring it across like so. You just very, very light. Don't put any pressure when you're laying it off. You know. There we go. So, just the bottom one here. Pop that out. Like so. And again, just same procedure. Four edges, top one. Again, your two sides. This bottom drawer is a lot better than the previous ones I just painted there. And of course, the underneath.
slag er der også ikke nævnt. Så slag er ikke. Just check it there, you know, there's no way to get it or anything there, you know. So, there you have it. That's that wee unit completely finished. So what I'll do now is, we'll let that dry, and uh, tomorrow I'll put all the handles on. I'll show you tomorrow when, they're, when, they're, when, you, when you put the handles on it, it does finish it off. So just a smaller one here to do. I'll just give you the same as what I've done there. I've just one, two, three. Uh, I'll just show you here. There you go. That we want there. So two, three, four, five, six. Six wee drawers again. The top. Two sides are finished. You can see the finish there. Nice smooth sheen finish on it. And the other side there. So, anyway, if you have any questions on, again, oh, as I always say, on doing furniture, uh, again, what primers to use, what preparation to do, um, you know, any questions at all about hand painted furnish, by all means, if you want to send me a message, I'll try and help you out as best I can. Okay, um, so I'll do a wee video maybe tomorrow um, with all the handles on and uh, let you see what it's like. Okay, thanks very much for watching.